Twerk. TFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Thursday, the 3rd of November. Basil Chapman here for the Market Update. I just did my, recorded my show uh, this past hour. It'll be replayed at 10 o'clock. So we had to use the futures as a benchmark because uh, the market is only open at 9.30, the cash market. We're looking at the futures Dow, down 263 at 31,916. Uh, this is an inverted Chapman Wave Roman candle. It would have to get to the 32,780 area and hold there for 90 minutes to say it's going to retest uh, yesterday's high. I don't think that's a possibility. Uh, it's being repelled from the 200 period moving average. So I think we are going to make a peak D today. We could have a couple of days of rest. Looking at the E mini, I'm doing the continuous contract right now. Made a peak E on leg E on Wednesday. Peak E yesterday. Couldn't get to a new high, although it was a spectacular intraday turnaround. Is going back into the Chapman Wave inside track. Um, it was a repellent zone, then it became a propellant zone. Now it's going to be back again. So it needs to get to 30, uh, probably 3,803 would be saying, okay, uh, we've had a little bit of a rest. Now we can start rallying. But right now it's at 37.27, down 41. Looking at the QQQ, the QQQ is down. Uh, 262 down three. It only made a peak C, got re repelled right there at the two, I think, eight, 285 area. Now it says 265. This is acting very poorly. The IWM, the Russell 2000, also down, uh, down two at 175.36. Uh, let's see, it closed yesterday, 177. Yeah, now it's underneath the 14 period moving average and a really nice move from 162. Remember, the Dow was up over 4,000 points, so giving back some, it would be expected. Uh, same with the IWM, a big move, and now it's pulling back gold. Uh, gold is down $30 at 1621, made a lower low. That's really not a good sign, and that's one of the things I've been worrying about with gold. And you're looking at uh, the dollar, the inverse of the dollar. This is working uh, in counterpoint. The dollar's up sharply, up at 158 at 112.92. Uh, this is in within the rectangle formation. Is this making the sine wave of a cup, then an arch, and now another cup formation? But look at the weekly chart, making higher lows and and and, and higher high highs. Look at crude oil. Crude oil is pulling back a little bit. It's down at dollar forty-seven eighty-eight. It really needs to get to the ninety-three ninety-four area to break out. Oh, and the TLT once again down sharply at ninety-four. So yields are going high. Stay tuned. Tommy O'Brien coming up for market kickoff and great programming for the rest of the. Day. I'll be back tomorrow. Have a great day.